you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He is also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn Fear would take more than that, friend. There she is! The HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of War, fully armed. We should bring the Morrican alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shay Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Let any through. It Enemy is imperative we stop those ships. The outcome of the war may depend on it. Make good use of your own water
Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Pede. I don't worry. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning! That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. 
I rather enjoy drinking with him. Or drop two. Though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along with him. If you're trying to test my conscience, guest, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shane. But it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, yes. Aye, sir. Sends it to the wind! Ships may go as long as the seas do go. A sailor lad just like his dad, he loves the flowing bowl. A woman ashore, he does adore a girl who's plump and round. When you're my... 
He's all gone. It's a same old song. Get up, Jack John. Sit down. Hey. Come along, come along. You jolly brave horses play more grog in the jar. We'll plow the briny ocean like a jolly soldier. Move now. Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Adewale. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Loose and catch the wind! Saints for service! What is that doing here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. It should be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. But did I ever tell you the story of Madame Vrenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... Right, not the time. Point is, I think I know a safe place where we can depart. Sail on! Depart the fort? Would be foolhardy if to simply storm that fort. Aye, we need to know what we're up against. I could take care of that. Indeed. I go to the fort. Find out what Adewale is doing there. Keep the Morrigan close. I'll keep her close, and I'll keep her. Straight. I make my own luck, Master Kenway.
So, the Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal chain. No, this, 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 Only he'd stand still and fight me. Admiral Marley is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he is most at ease. Fight not worth it. As we'll be swimming home tonight. This river's getting uncomfortably now. She has gotten us out of tighter scrapes no more. And the lake ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Follow him, Shay. I will try to corner him. You 
will die as a traitor! You're a quick boy, but not very clever. Come, come! He's in my sight! I can shoot him! You're a quick boy, but not very clever. Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, she. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the wars aren't really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shay plays. What is our progress on the Precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next Precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer and mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. We've yet to find where Hope is hiding. And most criminals in New York report to her now. I better find the Grand Master. Have a word, don't. I am today.
could be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. I'm waiting for your instructions. Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. And the authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big, they couldn't ignore those damned brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Get him, Shay. We'll need their clothes. I think we're being followed! You're right. Let's move. Come on! I'm too young to die! Hurry, you fool! Or we're both dead men! a disgraceful pair of crooks. No. I make this look good. So what's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember. You raise the flag, and I'll raise hell! How long do you reckon the English and French have been fighting?
What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. It worked, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damn brigands. I make my own luck. Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, he'll kill you. She's in that big mansion. The one with the gardens. Shall we go? You didn't mention you had a hidden blade. You thought you were the only one? Well, yes, I suppose. Where did you get that? It was donated by the brother. I see. Our mission was a success. The army should make its move any time now. Good. We like the resources in New York to handle these criminals ourselves. With a little luck, we might be rid of them once and for all. I make my own look. Now let us cut off the snake's head. Sir, we can confirm. The woman is inside. Perfect. Time to smoke her out. I'll go in and get home myself. Very well. We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. About time you showed up. Sorry it had to come to this, Shay.
You were a fascinating fellow. You have more endurance than I expected, Shay. What is this? Poison. Slurs my heart. I have to move. That's it. Moving. Keeps my heart beating. Hold there! I need to find hope. Get the antidote. Again, Shay. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I trained you to do this. I expected nothing less. Then why? To give Liam time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the Precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential.
Captain has the helm! We're in the Atlantic again. Shay and the Templars are going after the Assassin Expedition. Go team! Master Cormac, to what do I owe the pleasure? I was stopping to restock my ship when I heard the talented Captain Cook was here. We have a word. At your service, as always. I'm looking for a man. Captain Louis Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandry. The explorer? I have heard of him and his illustrious family. I must see him. Ah, who sent my regards? Or. Not. He sailed east a few days ago on a heading to Anticosti. Mm, indeed. I would advise caution. Oh, I've been there before. Then, I bid you good fortune. I will be sailing past Conception Bay, should you require further assistance. Much obliged. Master is pleased, Shay, what you did in New York. Yeah, it's only a matter of time now before order is restored. New York was never orderly, Gist. With hope gone. Perhaps. It couldn't have been easy for you, my lad. But you did what you had to do. I keep telling myself that. We are almost rid of the assassins in New York. And it's not as if the Hellcat didn't try to make you wear a pine overcoat. You had no other choice. I chose to cast my lot with the Templars. And we are glad you did, Shay. Who knows? Had you not, you might have found yourself at the end of Master Kenway's blade. Or yours. That's the spirit. Look, Shay. By killing Hope, you not only saved yourself and half of New York from the Assassin's poisons, you also learned the path we must take next. Now our task is simple. Prevent a group of paper skull killers from destroying another city. All in a day's work. There may be an alternate route to the west! Full sail! Anticosti is famed for its shipwrecks. They likely believe no one would venture it into such dangerous waters. None but fools and madmen, perhaps? Watch out for those icebergs, Captain. Captain is swimming!
Back to the market. have no arguments for me. Such players, make haste! We're overmatched, sir! Ready, Captain! The Royal Navy! Yeah! I still can't get used to that. King George's men will take care of those pirates. We've got our own battles to fight. Far closer escape than I'm comfortable with, but we have what we came for. Then we know where De La Verandre's ships are headed? Not quite, but we have the means to find out. We'll need Cook to interpret these maps. Then we should set sail for the coast of Newfoundland. Cold 
jury morning in December. December. And all of me money it was spent. And where it went, I swear I can't remember. So down to the shipping office I went. The party lay back. Taking you that way. Trip the yards off the wind. Captain's at the helm! Loose and can't stow it! Master Cormac, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I found a Levet Andre's travel plans. But the devil used some kind of code I... I can't figure it out. Maybe you'll have better luck. How strange. It is a very old cipher. I have seen it once before. I could draw you a map. Or... You could accompany me. Help me find a Levet Andre. An urgent matter, then. Very well. We shall sail together again. I gather you have some history with our friend de la Barandre? A history of instant loathing. I should have known not to trust my friends who embrace such a wretch. My goodness, what could this fellow have done to inspire such enmity? I know him only as one of a family of explorers, extending the boundaries of the known world. From the brief encounters I've had, I can tell you he's an irascible person. That's the right way of saying he's a cantankerous bastard. Did you hear that? Cannon fire. Deep within the fog. Could it be the Lavarandri? Perhaps. This is a secret expedition. They won't be keen to leave any witnesses to their voyage. This wind carries a mortal chill. Sir, to the fore! 
Where are they? They're within mortar range, that's all I know! Oh, Captain! Get the main sails into the wind! Loose the main! Half sail! Hammer this, that's high! Cargo for the taking, sir. Loose a trip to. A four, Captain. Sir, to four. It's the gear four. We hit the iron. Whatever Andre must have stayed behind to stop us. I no doubt volunteered for the job. We got a captain. Damn it, the off Scarlet Royal Studs. Let's go the ice, sir. No, not safe. Cabbage farmer, are you still convinced the Templars are right? Convinced to the end. <laughs> you bastard! Achilles and Liam have already headed north! Hope was right. <laughs> I do make a good. Destruction. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly... Um, 
interesting. Well, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. It, tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? The Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The Le Andre won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged. Be a fine ship for the fleet, Captain. Let the anchor go.
Captain's helm! Let out! Could be valuable cargo. Master Kenway! The La Verandry's dead. I have the coordinates. I know where the assassins are going. Then, let us make haste. Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site. The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end and witness the death of Achilles' brother. If the assassins do trigger an earthquake, at least there's few around to suffer. I have no intention of letting your former colleagues destroy a precursor site, regardless. This would be beautiful if it wasn't so damn cold. Tread carefully. Some of this ice is rather thin. That's a hefty crew Achilles brought. I doubt he expects all of them to survive these conditions. That's bleak. But we're still outnumbered. Let's keep a low profile, avoid unnecessary fights. Your assassins would scarce recognize you. Come. Let's enter.
Verloren. Find another way.
Is the apple? No, don't touch anything. Shay was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles, this is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. You betrayed the Brotherhood, Achilles, and me, says the man who shot me in the back. At the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss! The Umgold! <laughs> No! 
Times do I have to tell you, Liam? I make my own luck. How do you do that? You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. Achilles has lost everything. He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order. And for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. <laughs> Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nopskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. Past, 
the assassins had a noble goal, that of peace. But over the centuries, that goal eroded into a far more dangerous one. Freedom. Shit! What's going on now? There! Just follow those lights and you'll be set. I promise, you won't die if you follow the bright lights. I haven't steered you wrong yet, have I? Follow the lights. Please hurry, Numskull. It all comes down to this. Your communicator should work now. The Assassin Brotherhood still exists today, and they remain dedicated to their foolish cause. I am a Templar Knight. I protect the world from the Assassins. Today, you have helped me to fulfill this role. Please, restore the service. Otso Berg, the big star of the Anami training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Master Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid! Oh! Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool. A weapon. A plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! by every expectation. Use that terminal to upload Shay's story to the Assassin Network. The modern day Assassins are weak. It is only a matter of time before I catch the last of them and kill them. But it is not enough for them to die. What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. My plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. 
I would ask that you see it through to the end. I am super impressed, Nobskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. of Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. Louis the Sixteenth and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numskull. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. That's him. Charles Dorian. Un animal. Thank you. 
voulu en savoir autant. We stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? important business with the king. What should we do now? Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? My son, Arno? Perhaps you have seen him? Finishing old business. <sighs> oh, Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. Then perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. the principles of our order and all that for which we stand never share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work do so until death whatever the cost this is my new creed i am shay patrick cormac templar of the colonial of the american right i am an older man now and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended. And another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all.
It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shea Cormac's memories has served us well. Shea's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history, and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us, and for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.